Welcome to the Basecamp Barn Project. This week we put up trusses for the floor in our storage loft. We install the last of our Anderson windows. And we start faux painting our garage doors. Lots going on, so let's get back to work. Alrighty, after getting our ledger board bolted down this morning, I'm in the process of seeing how to put these floor joists up. Floor joists. So I kind of like what's going on here. I think it'll all work out. So I'm about to lay out all of the floor joist uh, brackets and make sure we have enough floor joists for this project. I'm pretty sure we do. But uh, we'll get the layout done and probably start throwing floor joists up. I think that's going to be pretty easy. They're not terribly heavy. The problem is going to be the floor sheathing. Those are big thick sheets of heavy OSB. So I'm not sure how we're going to get them up there just yet without a forklift. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. can't believe it. Here we go. The rain blew in a bunch of, or the, the wind, the high winds here we got going on blew in a bunch of rain. And now it's snowing. Temperature has dropped at least 10 degrees. Crazy spring weather. It was nice here until right after lunch. The wind was getting really blustery. And now we got snow. I've got one more beam to put up. And so it's already cut to length. So there I've fit a two by four piece into the webbing here and I screwed it in. So now we'll tip it up. I gotta get a little prop here to hold this end up. And we're gonna basically bolt it, mount it to the ledger board using this piece of steel here and then we'll end up screwing it to the wall. So that way it's very secure. Ah, let's get this thing up.
Natalie and I just put up all the subfloor here so that it's up here so we can end up putting it in and installing it at some point. Probably not tomorrow. I got another project for tomorrow, but I got it up here because she had the day off today. So we ended up teaming us together here and getting it up here. A little bit of a struggle, but this is our storage area loft, so to speak. Uh, there will be a wall built here between the two, uh, between the room. Uh, that has yet to be determined how tall it is until I get the flooring and been able to get out there to measure it. But uh, we'll get there at some point and get that done. But it's Advil cocktail time, so my shoulders and back will get a little bit of relief here in a minute. Good morning. We're expecting today to be the warmest day of the week, this week. It started out right at freezing. Now we're up to 38 degrees. <laughs> it's supposed to be closing in on 60 this afternoon. Got a little bit of a mess to clean up after yesterday. We got rid of a lot of stuff on the floor. So I got to pick up a little bit. I mean, we got it all put up here. I ordered more lumber to be delivered tomorrow for the master bedroom build out so that if it does rain or snow, um, I got something to do this weekend, but the main project is getting windows put in. So that's kind of the main goal for today, the being the warmest day of the week. So here's how we go about with our window installation process. This is the window box that we installed you know when we did our pour and there's a little bit of foam on some of them that we just slice off and then the Nodura blocks because they've been exposed to the sun for a month or so they're beginning to oxidize and so we have to sand them and do a quick wash of them to get them to make the Nodura stuff stick. But it also obviously has to be warm enough, so that's part of the challenge here. But nonetheless, the starting point is our wooden window buck. I cut a two by four and put a, a five degree bevel on it. I, I attempted to put a little lip on the back side or the top side of that bevel but this is how we start. I screw this piece down. So I made the buck tall enough to have an inch and a half uh, bottom piece part of the structure. And then once that's down, we're putting six inches of the Nodura product against the wood and against the foam so that we can come here later when it warms up and fill the void with another piece. You know, so we'll finish this by making it 100% waterproof on this window wall. We'd kind of done that down here because we had to to make the upper windows uh, installed. And so we've put a film of this Nodura on the entire face. But in this case here, because it's been so cold, I've been trying to put just a little bit on there so that if it doesn't stick, it's not that big a deal. We'll put another piece over it and it'll still make the, make the waterproof barrier work. After we've made the frame of Nodura around the window buck, I go and install this stretchy tape window tray. And that makes the window tray 100% waterproof around all the corners. It's overlapped onto the Nodura. It's back far enough to be inside of the window, so when we cock the back of the window, it'll actually adhere to this too. So it'll make a 100% waterproof barrier, and the stretchy tape in these corners is wonderful. So that's the next step, is after the Nodura, I put on the stretchy tape. I've also put it up there in these corners, just to seal off those corners. 
just a little sliver of the stretchy tape. And then I put zip tape on top of the Nodura product and wrap it around into the wood. And so I've done that in a shingle style. I did my verticals and then I did a horizontal. And now apart from putting in leveling blocks just to level out the window, this window buck is ready for a window. Once we've installed the window, we use uh, adhesive on the inside of the window flange and then I put another piece of zip tape on on top of the flange after it's been nailed and screwed in and so the adhesive seals the back side of the window flange and then we put another layer of tape just to make sure all the holes that we've put in there are sealed and if you can tell I've also rolled that tape around the edge of the window frame. So that window is 100% one, two with the goo, three with this thing sealed from the elements. They will not pass through unless they come in this way which at one point at some point here when it warms up we're gonna finish this whole wall and we will have a 100% waterproof barrier here on this south facing wall because it's the wall that gets most of the weather well we got a successful day all the big windows are done yay <laughs> so yeah all the big windows are in so we are getting close to being sealed up but the tape still didn't stick because it really didn't get warm enough. This stuff here is kind of sticking, but you can see it's starting to curl up there. Let's see if we can get up there. It's starting to curl there a little bit. This window looks pretty good. Uh, this window here is curling at the top and at the bottom. That was my last one and it was probably the coldest when I put it in. So we're still not quite there yet to put the rest of the stuff up. But anyway, that was a pretty big chore getting done. I'm clocking out. I'll get back to work tomorrow. Well, I'm following the sun today here on these walls. And uh, this stuff seems to be sticking pretty good now that it's a little warmer. I left those pieces in the sun. They got warm. Now you can see the Nodura in here because it's sticking really good, finally. So I think this window is pretty close. I'm gonna wrap this corner. We'll come around here and we'll just start kinda going this way. I wanna see if I can get this whole side sealed up today. And we're also painting garage doors today. These look pretty dry, so I'm ready to move on to my next set. And keep on digging. I'd like to get eight done today, if I can. And then maybe the rest of them done tomorrow. But yeah, painting doors. Painting the garage doors is a chore. I'd love to get them installed next week. We'll see. Got to keep keep digging here. Got to keep painting. So let's see if we can make some progress. These doors, you know, the stamp in them, they're very similar to the inexpensive door that I put into our shed. These are kind of expensive, but they're maybe middle of the line so to speak, compared to maybe a higher end one. The higher end ones were another four grand or five grand more for all of our doors. But just an observation, they're painting out very similar to what I did before, um, but there's not a groove in here saying that this is like a unique piece of wood. 
So it's just an uh, inexpensive door that's kind of expensive. <laughs> I'm trying to get to eight or ten today. So it's a bit of work. I'm trying to go as quickly as I can and for sure is warmer so they're drying faster. So that's helping a lot too. Uh, anyway, back to work. I think that's a wrap. That's 11 panels today. Pretty good day. It was nice and warm today. Not like hot, but it was right in the mid 50s, so that's good and sunny. So it's warming this place up nicely. But I got 11 panels painted. I got nine more to go, so tomorrow I should be able to get it done. Maybe get these things installed this next week, depending on the weather. Uh, I didn't get as far on the outside as I wanted today because actually the painting is more important. I wanted to get around this corner, but the wind picked up, Look, it tipped over my ladder. But we might get there tomorrow. <sighs> wind. But I'm gonna go this way now. <laughs> Out of the wind. Crazy. Oh, I got my tools. How the wind whips around this place. Trees aren't making noise, so it's not as windy as it was yesterday. That'll be a wrap for tonight. And we'll keep on working tomorrow. So we'll see you then.